Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Peony and today I'm reviewing for you my favorite products from Hourglass. This is one of my favorite brands ever. So if you wanna see which products I think are worth spending your hard earned cash on, just keep watching. Just before we get into the video, I love Hourglass. If you follow me on my website and on Instagram, you'll know that I use a lot of the products from Hourglass in daily life. And the reason I love them so much is that they create this really beautiful aesthetic. It's all about skin texture, it's all about looking fresh, and for me the packaging is so luxurious, the product itself is so well formulated. I really think this is a luxury beauty brand worth investing in. So let's get straight into the video. I'm just going to clip my hair up um, so it's not going all over the place. Um, if I'm looking over here I've got a little mirror just here so that's why I'm doing just checking my face. So this is a new kind of video for me because I want to try and shoot a lot more stuff with natural light. It's how most people are going to see me wearing makeup and see you guys wearing makeup. So I think it's really important for you guys to see kind of more of a real representation of makeup rather than like studio lighting which can make everything look amazing but ultimately it's how you look in real life that matters I think. So it might mean that it's difficult to film sometimes and um, we get a bit of variation in light and stuff but I'm shooting in my office now for that reason because I have an overhead light up here there's a uh, this is it's like a conservatory so there's a roof light and then this is a really big window in front of me so hopefully those two things will make it okay so let's start off with their primer so this is their veil mineral primer which is oil free so I really like this primer because I just put two pumps into my hand because it really gives a beautiful surface to your skin so when you're applying your makeup over the top it's like already smoothed for you um, but it doesn't have a kind of very strong build up first of all um i'm going to apply the illusion which is their skin tint this is the um hourglass equivalent to like a tinted moisturizer but i think it's got a slightly more coverage than a tinted moisturizer this is in the color beige I'm just gonna put a bit on the back of my hand and then I found it's easiest to work this in with the fingers. So I'm just gonna apply it straight to my face and you can see it's added like a nice bronze tint to it. The reason that I like this product is that it's quite sheer but it's quite buildable and it's got an SPF in. It's only got an SPF of 15 but in London, not in generally super super sun so that can be quite a good just added extra. It has kind of a similar texture to the Le Mer tinted moisturizer, if you know what that's like. Instead of using um, a concealer, I use their other foundation. This is the Vanish Stick, that's what they're called. You can put it onto the back of your hand like this, so you can kind of see um, how much coverage it is. It's incredibly full coverage. I actually love carrying this product. Sorry, I'm just looking for a brush. I love carrying this product in my bag when I've got shoots in the day with one of these little Zoeva brushes and I can literally just press once into the stick like that and it gives me so much product coverage. You can see that, that was literally a light tap. If I've been blowing my nose and I need to touch in my nose um, or I've been rubbing my chin, it's just super easy, this technique basically, to add a bit more with the vanish stick, so I love it. I'm gonna keep using this Zoeva brush and I'm picking it up off the back of my hand and I'm just taking it onto my chin where I have a little bit of redness. And then I'm taking it around the nose as well, where I've got a bit of redness. And it blends in with the illusion really well. And under the eyes like a concealer. So you can use a bit more straight from the palette, from the stick for the concealer places. But I think this is like a really useful retouching product. It's not necessarily something I would use across my whole face, but it's really great for retouching. It's actually becoming quite sunny. It was quite overcast, but it's becoming quite sunny. Then I'm going to use the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is the powder that they just launched out of glass. Um, I use a big fluffy brush. This is one from Le Mer. I don't take it across my whole face. I'm just going to use this to set my under eye area. So I'm just pressing it lightly. And the reason I'm not using a smaller brush is because I want it to disperse a little bit because I'm going to use another powder in a minute. So I just want that as a really light coat to set basically the areas I've put concealer. Honestly, there are a lot of translucent powders on the market. 
I know a lot of people who don't like talc products will like this because um, none of the hourglass powders have talc in. So you don't get any cakiness and you don't get any whiteness. That said, this isn't my favorite loose powder ever. It's a really, really nice option. And if hourglass suits your skin, then definitely go for it. But for me, um, it's not my favorite loose powder ever. It's just a nice one. Then the next powder I'm gonna add under my eyes is this. This is the Ethereal Light Ambient Light Powder from Hourglass. And you can see it's this kind of very white, pearlized kind of finish. So I'm gonna use that on my soft concealing brush. And I am actually gonna take that right up under the eyes because it's a whiter color. It's gonna act like a brightening powder and help to hide those bags. So if you really love Hourglass powders, this is a great one for setting the under eyes with. And the thing I love about Hourglass powders are you can really pack them on because of the no talc. You never have a situation where you ever look too cakey because it just doesn't, it's like almost impossible to do. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face and for this, I'm gonna use this. This is one of my favorite products from Hourglass. I feel like you guys are sick of hearing about it because I love it so much. This is the Ambient Lighting Palette from Hourglass. Um, I've, this one's very well used as you can see. Um, I just love it. I think that the powders are so useful. The color tone is amazing. I do also have this color here, which I believe is Radiant Light on, on, as a single because I use this color a lot. But all together, mixed together, you just get this really, really beautiful glow. So I'm just picking up my La Mer brush again. I'm swiping it across the palette both ways and then I'm setting my face with that. And the thing I love about this powder is, even though you're applying a powder, you never end up cakey, ever. Like, you look more glowy after the powder. Your skin looks more fresh after the powder than it did to start with. Next product. So the next thing we're gonna go in with, Matthew always takes a bit out of me for saying, go in with, ah. Okay, is a bronzer. <laughs> This is it here. This is the Radiant Bronze Light from Hourglass. Um, this is their darkest bronzer, and this is definitely the best color for me. If you don't, ooh, the light suddenly changed. Hopefully that won't look insane on camera. Um, if you don't like a glittery bronzer, you're not gonna like this. It's not glittery, I'll show you it on my hand. It's not glittery, but it is shimmery. Ooh, that's where I've got a lot of powder here, and you probably have to wipe off your foundation first. But it does have a shimmer to it. Shimmer is even the wrong word. It has a glow to it. So if you don't like that effect, you're not gonna like this bronzer. I love that effect in the summer. So I've taken, this is my ultimate bronze and shade brush from my kit company. Love this bronzing brush. Very loose powder. So I like to pat a little bit off on the back of my hand first. So you can kind of load your brush up and then take off the excess. And then we're just gonna take it into the bronzing areas. Can you see how much color that's added already? It's such a beautiful color. I really, really love this bronzer. And I love that all of their powders layer so lightly and so beautifully together. I think some brands you can't like over powder because it looks weird. Whereas with Hourglass, you can just apply as much as you want and it still looks natural, which I love. How gorgeous is that bronzer? You can see it on the back of my hand really well now. See that glow? Now we're gonna use a highlighting stick. This is the Vanish Flash Stick from Hourglass, and this is in the color Champagne. If I just swatch it next to the bronzer, you'll see the difference. Wow, <laughs> it's so gorgeous. That's it there. So it's got this really gorgeous kind of, I almost wanna say pearl finish to it. I like to use it with either a little brush like this, like the concealer brush we used, or with my finger. So I'm gonna take my finger on it now. And I basically just lightly press it into the cheekbone. So it's super natural, blends in with the powders and the skin. You don't end up moving anything underneath if you do it like this, it just adds a really nice light layer. And I'm just taking it up to under the brow a little bit as well here. I like using it down the bridge of my nose as well. So I just think that's really nice to have a little glow there and on the top of the lip. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush. So this is the blush I'm using. This is the Brilliant Nude Blush from Hourglass. Their blush selection, I'm not gonna lie to you, is not the broadest. They basically have three, or two, two or three. One that's very pink, which for me, I don't find that flattering on my face. 
Um, and then this one, and then I think they have one other that maybe is a little bit ashy and more of a contour shade. So I like this one because this one for me, um, it comes out as a kind of nice bronze apricot kind of color. So I using my fluffy brush here, patting off the excess on the back of my hand, and then I just sweep it across my cheek. And it just kind of adds a little bit of warmth that you don't get from the bronzer. Just such a pretty color, right? Very natural, feeds into the bronzer very well. This is such a summer bronze glow look. That's what I think Hourglass is really all about. It's about that, like, all about the skin. It's not about shadows. It's not about, you know, heavy contour. It's about that perfect, like, glowing, flawless skin. It's very Hollywood. It's very summer, which I love. For my eyes, what I'm gonna use is this. This is the Vanish um, Bronze Flash. So it's part of the same stick collection as the highlighter that we used, but this one is brown. So I'm just gonna run it next to it so you can see the color difference. So if you had darker skin, you could definitely use this as the highlighting cream, or you can use it like I'm going to as an eyeshadow base. So I'm gonna pick it up on the same concealer brush that I used earlier and I'm just going straight into the stick like this. Take it over my whole lid. And it makes this really gorgeous bronzy base. Adds a little bit of dimension with the sheen and also a little bit of color that feeds into the rest of the face. I love this product. My, the color of it is stunning. The finish of it is stunning. My only complaint of it would be that it can move. Depending on what you've got underneath, you can end up with that thing where it moves into the crease of your lid which in order to stop, I that's partly why I add the translucent powder around the eye and I also am gonna set it um, because otherwise you, there is a stronger chance that you're gonna end up with it moving into the crease. But the color is just so stunning that I will forgive it its movement because I just love the color so much. And I also love that with these products, Hourglass actually thought about darker skin girls, mixed race girls that, you know, for whom this color highlight maybe isn't gonna hit it, you know, this this is, speaks to a lot more skin tones. So well done Hourglass for thinking of that. So I'm just gonna set that taupey brownness with my bronzer. So I'm picking up the same radiant bronzer. The main place I want to set it is in the crease, right here because that's where it moves. So you don't need to put it over the whole lid, but you can just warm up your crease and it looks so pretty as well because it adds kind of a contour to the eyelid. Even though this is a concealer brush, it's quite big, you can still take it under the eye, what's left on the brush. So I'm literally just swiping under the eye. Now next we're gonna do the brows. Oh, so if you're interested in the mascara I have on, it's the Sensei mascara. These brow products are two of my favorite brow products of any brand ever, let alone Hourglass. Um, I use this brow gel almost every single day. I love, love, love it. I use it on its own and I use it layered with a pencil, either with um, the Tom Ford pencil or the Hourglass pencil. So this is the Hourglass Arc pencil. I use it in soft brunette. Okay, so first of all, I use the comb, the spoolie on the back of it and brush my brows up. And all I'm gonna do with the brush is fill in the places that I have gaps. So like here, I've got a little bit of gappage. So I'm not kind of filling my whole brow. So I want it to be nice and natural, but I am just filling where there needs to be a bit more base tone. Can you see how natural and buildable that pencil is? There's nothing about it that's like hard or um, crayony or waxy. It's literally just a really nice natural filler color. It's just added kind of a tiny bit of shadow behind the natural hair. So when you've got your brow to kind of where you want it to be with the pencil, take your wand. So this is the Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel in Dark Brunette. How would I describe this? <laughs> the brush on this has two sides. So it has a long side on this side and then a short side on the other side. First of all, use the long side. And what I do is I brush it through my brow hairs backwards with the long side like this, just gently getting the product in through the hairs. Then you're gonna take the short side of the brush and just comb the brows back into place. I find because of the two sides and the product formula, I end up holding my brows in place better. A lot of the gels for me just weren't holding my brows in place and halfway through the day I'd have like straggly long brow hair hanging off. Whereas this, with the two sides, it really makes a big difference. 
So you can see the difference between my two brows now. That's the result that you get. It's really natural. It looks um, really kind of pretty with the bronzy look that is very hourglass. So I'm a big fan of it in general. I'm just gonna do the other brow of Clamra to match. So as ever, I've got sister <laughs> slash cousin brows, not twins, <laughs> but I just love those products. They give you a really natural, fluffy, rich brow that I think is really flattering on the face and really summery. The final thing I use um, from Hourglass is this. This is the Euphoric Strobe Light Powder. And I'm gonna pick it up on my highlight brush and then I just blend in my highlight on my cheek with it. For me, Hourglass is all about the glow. That That's the look that they offer. So I like to take a tiny bit in all those places. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Typical me. So I just realized I forgot one of the most important products. So hold on, am I in focus? Yeah. <laughs> I think I've knocked the camera a bit though. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, completely forgot. Um, so I've set my face, but now I'm gonna apply the lipstick. This is the nude series of lipsticks that they do. They come in these kind of sticks and they do six, I think it is. And they're matched to your skin tone. So um, they can tell you based on your foundation color, what nude suits you best. So I'm number six and I love this colour. I'm applying it just straight from the bullet, but it's just a really creamy texture lipstick. It's not really matte and it's not really satin. It's somewhere in between. So this one for me is like a slightly pinky plummy nude. I just think it's so pretty. If you really want to be extra, you can take a little bit of the highlighting powder on your finger, take it across your cupid's bow. So this is the finished look guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you like this look? Do you love the glow of Hourglass? Do you prefer all matte makeup? I'd love to hear your thoughts. For me, I love this. It's the JLo Glow. And I just love, love, love that finish for summer. I think it's really, really pretty. My top three products that I think Hourglass does better than anyone else of everything that I've used is the Ambient Lighting Palette because I use this almost every day and I just think the finish of this powder is beautiful. Um, the next is the Vanish foundation stick, this one that we use today as a concealer. I love how compact it is for travel, it's never going to leak anywhere, it blends super easily, it's very versatile, um, and whether it's keeping it in your handbag or travelling with it for shoots, it just is really practical, so I love that. And the final one is this, the eyebrow gel. And I love the brush inside with the two sides, that works so well for me, and I love the formula as well. It's one of the only brow gels I use, and it actually holds my brows in shape. I have very straight hair because of being mixed race, and so very few products are actually strong enough to hold my hairs into place, but this does, so that's a win for me. Let me know what you thought about this new style of video. I feel like you guys are probably all better at makeup than I am, so the most helpful thing I can do is tell you which products are best from each brand because I get to try so much. But let me know if it is helpful or not. I would love to hear from you guys. If you did find it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn the bell on because then you'll know when I'm doing a new video. I'm doing videos once a week now, so make sure you check back in next week with some more fun on this channel. Um, I'll be doing something, food, fashion, beauty, um, something along those lines. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.